Let's get over to our man, Mr. Basil Chapman, as we do each and every Tuesday. And don't forget, folks, every trading day, Basil has an outstanding show here, 10 to 11 Eastern Standard Time. Also has a great newsletter, the opening call. Now, it's very easy to get the opening call, folks. You come over to our website at TFNN. You're going to hit newsletters. You're going to see the opening call right on the left-hand side. You just hit that opening call. You hit that subscribe button. You can get the opening call for one month for $149. You get it for six months for $6.95, which is a savings of $199 or 22%. You can get it for a year for $11.95, which is a savings of $593 or 33%. Now, they all come with a 30-day money-back guarantee, folks. Basil has approximately uh, 10 to 12 workshops that are out there also, so you'll really understand how the Chapman wave works and how you can ride that wave each and every day. Basil Chapman, what's going on? Hi, Tom. How are you? I'm doing great, man. Yourself? Very good. Thank you. Good. So, what do we got here? Okay, so we're looking at the Dow. On the left side is the daily chart. In the middle is the weekly. On the right is the monthly chart. And there are a couple of patterns that have been forming over the last week. One of the one of the patterns that I've I've used for years and years is something that I call the stork leg formation. What happens is we identify a low and then the market or whatever we're following, the tradable that we're following, moves up sharply and then all of a sudden it stalls. So that's that's I call a leg to the upside. This is not nothing to do with leg with a peak A, B, C, just a series of higher highs. And then it stalls. What's really important is that it then starts to go sideways, but it doesn't make a rectangle formation. It makes a decisive oval pattern. And one of the reasons why I called it a stalk leg, this goes back to when I used to hand chart, when I, I hand charted on engineering paper and paper and pencil um, and ruler, I would get these lines and I would find that these trend lines, for, for some reason, would come back much later on. So I, I, I've always been a, a trend line follower and certain patterns. And the pattern that I identified was that when the price goes higher and higher and higher, and then it soars, and then it goes sideways, not in a rectangle. Rec there's a, a different connotation with a rectangle, but really within a, an oval pattern, it looks like a stalker, how it stands on one leg, it tucks the other leg under the body. Then you get this oval body. And then what happens is, there's a sudden pop to the upside, and that's the neck. Now, the neck can comprise of a very short pop to the upside, and it's usually, this is only a peak A. So the implication here is somewhat different. Usually, I've already gotten to a C or even a D, and you get that pop to the upside above the oval of the, um, the, the pattern that I look at for the sideways pattern. And then it comes back in to the pattern, and how it treats the top of the oval is going to be very important. So it goes leg, oval body, a neck, which is often quite short, but it goes up, and then it comes back and retests the body, and that's the beak. And then after the beak, there's usually a big rally, and then you're on your own. But this pattern is somewhat different because the oval pattern is only formed at peak A, and here we are sideways, and even the last four sessions, we haven't gone above 33,272. So either there's going to be a very sharp arch to the downside, and we close under 32,500 sometime this week, or we break above and we go to 33,000, uh, the 370, somewhere around that area, and that would be very positive. So we've been along the Dow Diamonds um, for in different short-term and long-term positions, um, and we're still in the, in the long position. And what's really important is that the MAG, this is the daily chart, the MAGD is very strong. The stochastic is flat at 89%. And the on-balance volume, I use on-balance volume, which is, the running total, if there's an up bar, you add it to the running total. If there's a down bar, you, you subtract it. Fortunately, it's all done on a computer, so it's just a single line that I have. Now, I know that you, of course, use volume, and you're going to probably be discussing it in tremendous detail on Friday when you do your all-day webinar. That should be very exciting. And this is a great week for something like that. No doubt, yeah. Yeah, so I, I use on balance volume, and that had a, an overbought condition as it went to that peak A and has pulled back quite sharply, yet the price is held. So I'm looking at this, and overall, my sense is 
that we are still in a rising tide in the shorter term, stretching a little bit into intermediate because the weekly chart has started a gray leg A. I, don't can't, I can't talk about the monthly chart yet. We have to wait all of June to see where it closes. Certainly a close uh, in the 30, uh, 35,000, well, sorry, 30, I think it's above last week's high, which would be... Uh, yeah, 34,000, 180s would be extremely positive. I, I'm not expecting anything other than how does this break out to the upside if it does, and we'll go from there. I am impressed, and I'll talk about this in my, my uh, show, the Tiger Technicians Hour, tomorrow at 10. I'll talk about these patterns because if there is a stronger move here in the Dow daily and it goes into 33,500s by Friday of this week, then we're looking at something different. Then there's something I call the propeller shaft, which means it doesn't necessarily mean that you're going to make a, an equal move from the low of 30,635 to the 33,272 level, that distance, and then take it to the top. It does mean, though, that you can ex expand this higher than just the plain old stalk leg formation. So there are a number of things. All I'm doing is saying, okay, subscribers, let's see where it does. There's a break out to the upside. There's a break down to the downside. We've got our positions. Let's see where it goes. And I think that's how I have to look at it because the technicals are still the stochastic at 89% and flat for the Dow, the stochastic and the S&P. And I'll talk about this tomorrow as well in my shows for those of you new to my work. The stochastic at 87% and the MACD strong. Yeah, yeah, as well, there's an oval pattern. So that would break out to a leg D above 4177.51 in the S&P. But the most important thing, and, and we've been trading the Qs on the long side very for very short term uh, trades. And so far, most of them have worked out very well. This is going to be very important. I want to see the Qs, the index 100, trade together with the Dow. The Dow, if, the, if we can get the percentage gains to match, that will be the first time that the Dow is showing some, some inner strength, and it hasn't shown that up until now. So it's really important. So overall, my bias is to the upside. Um, I haven't yet got any trigger to say, OK, now we start looking at the downside, the short side. So this is where we stand. And it's going to be very important to see where we go. Um, we're in, actually, we're in an exciting juncture these two days, today and tomorrow. You're going to love it, man. And listen, folks, it's very easy to get Basil's newsletter. Come over to our website at TFNN. You're going to go into newsletters first. Hit newsletters. You're going to see the opening call on the left-hand side, second one down. Hit that baby, and you are off to the races. Yeah, this is going to be intriguing. It's going to be an intriguing summer in general. <laughs> uh, yeah, I think you're right. And also yeah. very selective because not everything, even when you think it's working, suddenly you get a failure. And I'm, I'm, I'm really excited that Target did what it did today without the market turning down and being 500 points down in the Dow. I think that was important. I think it was uh, it telling us that we've got to look at this market very selectively. For instance, Macy's is up, and yet Target is down. Yeah, and Macy's was up right from the get-go. Right, no doubt. You have a great one, safe one, Baz, and we look forward to the program tomorrow. Thank you, Tom. Look forward to your webinar. Absolutely. Thanks, man. Appreciate it.